triggers where we're like, I can't watch that anymore. I can't listen. What are some things that we can do? And by the way, PS, if I, if you don't think you should be listening or watching, please don't, please turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually my first, it's, it's one of the benefits of the trigger warning awareness is that lots of content now has, has them. If the, if the topic of the video or article you're reading is something you've experienced yourself to think very carefully about whether you want to read it. Um, being re-traumatized is a real thing. And um, one thing about trauma is you can actually wear a groove in your brain of thinking about the trauma story, telling the trauma story uh, over and over again, and not to say you shouldn't tell it and be witnessed. That's absolutely a huge part of the healing process is having a compassionate person who sees you and understands hear the traumatic experience you've had and say, yes, that was awful. And I'm, you know, and, and I'm here for you. Right. And then after that, it's important to get other kinds of help to help heal the nervous system because the conscious brain isn't able to really do much about it at that point. And so anyway, so keeping yourself safe is so re avoiding re being re-traumatized is I'd say number one. Um, number two is to make sure you're really centered and grounded and happy and comfortable before you start to read. Get yourself to a place of feeling safe in the first place um, before even attempting to go with the video or the article. And if you find, and, and actually, in fact, the first thing to do if you are reading something and you're feeling really triggered is stop reading. Just yeah. put it down. And at that point, the, the, two, the two techniques, one is to look out the window is actually mm -hmm. very useful or, okay. or going outside, you know, even just putting everything down, it's getting up and moving and stepping outside. Moving your body when you're having um, that kind of reaction helps to disperse some of the energy. It's like literally an, an energy buildup that we get in our system. That's why EFT works is to help release the energy. So moving your body is very helpful. And then, or if you can't really get away to at least look around the room, the, the most effective way to do that is to take a nice deep breath and moving both your head and your head, uh, your head as well as your eyes to actually take in your surroundings and remind yourself of where you are and looking at the details of the room, the colors of the walls, the objects that are in the room to bring yourself back to the present moment. Triggers specifically bring our bodies kind of back to the original um, traumatic experience. And we wanna bring ourselves back into the present away from the past. Anxiety is in fact, mostly fueled by, you know, it's fueled by the past and the future. It's never in the present moment.